first, let's talk about the relative, so absolute and relative refractory periods. Okay. And he explained it today, is this all we pretty much need to know is that this is absolute and this is refractory? Um, what is the absolute refractory period? The absolute refractory is when you get, when you depolarize, it's the... Um, so that, that answers my question, because, yeah, sorry. Okay. A lot of times I ask um, questions that might either seem A, obscure, or B, like, like well, I don't know that. That's why I'm asking you. But it helps me know where you're at. Okay. okay. So general drawing of an action potential when we're talking about the charge. I think it was 70 for a neural cell. Action potential, right? Right. So you know that this is going to be, so here's the absolute, right? Refractory period, right? And Zero. until it's back to here, it's the relative. <coughs> so the refractory period is basically um, going to be until we get it's saying how long until we can have another action potential happen oh, okay. on that same spot. So during the absolute relative refract, absolute relative refractory period, we can't have an action potential because we're already having one. If you, like if you think of the sodium channels that are depolarizing in that right. phase, these are open. Right. You know, the activation and inactivation gates are both open. We can't say open while they're already open. So you can't have two signals happening while they're open. You have to wait all the way until they reset, which is about right there. So that has to do with all or none, pretty much. Yeah, it's. Um, Kind of. It's, it's, not really. it's more of that we can't have an action potential what? while an action potential is occurring okay. in an individual spot. The soonest we can have it is right after the absolute refractory period. Okay. But the relative refractory period, so it's relative, it can happen, but it's not very likely. Okay. The reason for that is because in the relative refractory period, or more negative, more negative than we usually are, or more hyperpolarized. And so it takes a um, more frequency of signals to get this to go up. So it's basically one point during the absolute refractory period, we can't have another action potential. During the relative refractory period, we typically don't have one. Possible, yes, but not very, as likely. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. I'm trying to answer what questions I can quickly because some of the things like tenacity usually takes a little bit longer. Uh, uh, that's enough. Someone stole an eraser. I have none. That's probably why there's tissue there. <laughs> <laughs>